Liberty London are a bespoke department store in London, housing innovatively and eclectically designed products across beauty, women's wear, men's wear and more. They operate in the high end of the luxury market and their target market is the sophisticated and savvy shopper. Their main competitors are Selfridges, Harrods, Harvey Nichols and Westfield. Liberty's existing digital offering is an e-commerce website with exceptional user experience. They also have social media platforms and an existing blog. However, they lack engagement and content across these particular platforms and improving this is what the following initiative aims to achieve. Here are some screenshots of their social media platforms including Twitter and Facebook. The proposed digital marketing initiative is a new blog called the Liberty London Club. This will aim to improve content and engagement across the brand by using blogger outreach. This will involve utilising theory across relationship marketing, online influence, social media and content marketing. This is an example of how the blog may appear on the Liberty London website. Um, and it will give um, visitors the option to subscribe to the blog. Creating effective content should theoretically result in successful search engine optimization. And this is mainly built on finding keywords that might be missing from a website's content. So in this case, it might be the keywords product review. And it's also built on creating content to catch people's attention. And this is by promoting link baiting, which is more of a short term strategy. Um, and also building relationships with bloggers in this case to build inbound links, which is more of a long term strategy. Here are some examples of influential bloggers who exist within the same markets as Liberty London in beauty, fashion, and lifestyle. So here we have Liana Beauty, Viviana Does Makeup, The Londoner, and Iron Gala. They each have their own blog and also create video content via YouTube. According to a study by iCrossing, blogger outreach can improve and extend brand advocacy, audience reach, social engagement and influential introductions. Engaging and building a relationship with a high profile blogger opens doors to a new community their readers. However, this can lead to cynicism among readers if they feel their blogger is being sponsored. It can also result in negative product reviews which will be shown later in more detail. So we're using Viviana Does Makeup as an example in this case. She's a great example of a professional blogger whose content meshes suitably with the Liberty London brand. Her statistics also prove that she will provide scalable audience reach. How should bloggers be approached? Here is an example email sent to Viviana Does Makeup. It introduces the concept, the aims and why we want her involved. In this case we would like her to review a product and create some content on her blog. We want to invite her to the Liberty store to interview her, um, also to blogger events and that will create content for the Liberty London blog. So here is an example of a product review by Viviana Does Makeup. She uses imagery to demonstrate the product and she uses inbound links and a shopper post feature to allow the reader to view the product on the site in question. This is an example of the type of product review we want to achieve, featuring the pink IFAS tote bag. So what's the value in using bloggers to facilitate online product reviews? 92% of consumers read online reviews and 89% feel that they influence their product choice. Getting a review from a blogger allows a brand to improve reader trust and build up their credibility, as well as improve sales in certain areas. The weaknesses of this approach are related to the danger of negative reviews and the impact this can have on consumer choice. 
A review from Viviana will allow us to place links to her review on the product page as shown here. Here are some examples of social media posts shared by the blogger and Liberty London the brand. They include links to the Liberty site and encourage engagement amongst followers. So why does social media play an important role? Getting a blogger to tweet your products gives you access to their followers who could then become potential customers. Using hashtags will ensure your content appears in relevant streams. The only downside is that you are in competition to get noticed amongst all the other hashtags. The next step is to invite the blogger over to interview. What's in my handbag, a beauty site, offers a compelling example. Using content marketing, we want to build an online community by updating regularly and engaging with appropriate audiences. Here is an example of content created based on an interview with a blogger. Each question and answer gives the brand the opportunity to link to a product the reader might be interested in. Now we move on to blogger events. One of Liberty's competitors, Harrods, recently put together a digital style summit which involved asking the bloggers pictured to put together outfits available to purchase at the department store. This is something we want to achieve at Liberty and may include enabling access to products before launch, giving bloggers free products for review, giving bloggers the opportunity to take over Liberty social media accounts and um, organising talks and conferences about blogger outreach in particular industries. Relationship marketing plays a role here as it encourages using marketing efforts to build relationships for loyalty and this is something Liberty already thrives on. The more mature customer segment at Liberty may feel this focus on a digital relationship is not right for them. The right balance is needed to maintain loyalty and innovation at Liberty London. This type of blogger outreach is measurable by measuring engagement, consideration and conversion using, for example, Google Analytics. And despite the obvious benefits of blogger outreach, there are some limitations and they usually revolve around the danger of negative reviews, finding reliable and appropriate copywriters and content marketers, and also the danger of giving um, readers information overload. Thank you for watching and listening.